stood there, soaking wet and sputtering, while his boat floated away from him down the Eridan River in pieces. I'd give my sharpest bronze dagger to see that silly human trying to leave Elysium on a felucca. Have you visited my mother recently, and given her my love? Always. The meteor sends her love in return. Well, I'd better get back. Elysium won't rule itself. Do keep an eye out for me. I sense trouble brewing in paradise. I was starting to think you'd never get here. You can't waste time if you hope to break Persephone's control over the gate to the underworld. I... <laughs> Did you really think word wouldn't get out that you're in collusion with Elysium's pretty boy, Adonis? Is that so? Unfortunately, no one passes through the gate to the underworld without Persephone's permission, which she has never given. Ever. Luckily for you, as the goddess of crossroads and keys, locked doors happen to be my specialty. Are you saying you can get me through the gate? I'm saying I can help you bypass Persephone. From what I just saw, you're pretty close with Persephone. Why would you want to work against her? I'm not asking for your blind trust. Let me prove our goals align. This unlocks the door to Persephone's hidden sanctuary. She keeps all of her most intimate possessions there, stowed away from her husband. Among her treasures is a journal rumored to contain information you desperately need about the gate. Bring it to me as soon as you can. Come to think of it, I've seen the door you speak of before. And now you'll be able to open it. I'll go get the journal. The sooner you bring me it, the closer you are to leaving Elysium. Don't waste any time. Let's see if Akati's key works, then find that journal. <sighs> ah, this journal is missing pages. I hope Picati still wants it. I'm not sure how stealing Persephone's journal will help me open the gate to the Underworld, but here it is. Stealing Persephone's journal wouldn't help us. But stealing the journal that belonged to the gate's locksmith will. Who's the locksmith? It doesn't say. Looks like a lot of pages were torn out. Now be quiet while I read. Well, that was illuminating. So? What does it say? Oh, so eager. The location of the gate is not revealed. But so long as Persephone controls Elysium, you need her permission to pass through it. Which you will never get. But if she loses control of Elysium... She loses control of the gate. You need to undermine her influence any way you can. And how do you suggest I do that? Your alliance with Adonis is a good start. His head-on tactics are a little obvious for my taste, but in time, he will wear down Persephone's forces. What about our alliance? Where do you come in? I know all of Persephone's weaknesses, and I'll direct you to them when the time is right. 
Until then, you'd be wise to spend some time with Persephone's lapdog, Hermes. Learn to use that staff. You'll need a divine weapon in the land of gods. I didn't get a good enough look at you back there. Now I see why my guards had trouble with you. Well, they weren't exactly easy. I'm sure they aren't what mortals like you are used to. You must be someone special. You're acting pretty nice for someone who just tried to kill me. Consider that a misunderstanding. It isn't every day I see a new face in my realm, much less one as lively as yours. So, Elysium belongs to you. After the rude introduction I gave you, I can't blame you for not knowing. Let me apologize. Ross can attest, usually he's the one that does the biting. He would want you to forgive me too. Tell me your name. Let's begin again. On the right foot, this time. No hard feelings. My name's Alexios. Then I give you my official welcome, Alexios. Let me tell you what's customary around here. This place is mine. I know every flower, every face. I alone let them in. But there's something here I don't want. You mean me? No. There's a beast loose in Elysium, and it belongs to Hades. If it gets to him that his wife stole one of his immortal mounts, it'll be a disaster. But I didn't steal it. I won't go near the things. They brought me down here in the first place. No. Someone wants me to look bad, and I need that horse gone. The Hades? I'll take it you aren't a happy couple. He's tried, of course, to bond with me, but what can he expect out of a prisoner? Love? That's just stuff of legend. You think someone would do this to you? It's highly unlikely the thing got in here on its own. I have to remember Elysium is my paradise, not everyone else's. I'll see if I can find the horse for you. What does it look like? You'll know it when you see it, trust me. Not only is the beast immortal, but he is terrifying. Horses don't scare me. Has anyone seen him lately? I heard screams coming from the Asphodel Alboritum. Perhaps he's scaring civilians. Bring it to my stable boy, the jockey of Artemision. He'll know how to send it galloping back to the nightmare it came from. I wonder what's wrong with them.
Don't come any closer. You're all scaring my horse. He's just a gentle creature. Have you seen your horse? The others ran away screaming. Leave it to a blind man to see what's right in front of him. Of course I haven't seen it. I'm sorry. These are hard times. I'm afraid I won't make them any easier. I have to take that horse from you. You can't! First Persephone takes my sight, and then you take Orphe? Our friendship was instant. I heard the neigh of a fierce horse. I approached him, unafraid. And he licked my palm. Did you say Persephone blinded you? She had one of her godly soldiers fry me with fire. It was punishment for telling others what I thought of this paradise, and somehow it got back to her. Said I didn't deserve to see the beauty she created. He's not supposed to be in Elysium. Are any of us in a realm that boasts perfection but shows only deceit? Have pity. Let him stay with me. Little do you know that this is Hades' horse. It's going back to him. I don't care. I would risk even Hades' punishment for Orphe. Mark my words. I won't forget this. Whoa, boy. Don't tell Phobos, but you are one impressive beast. Either Adonis or to the stable boy. Who to choose? Yeah! a special horse, and belongs to Hades. That's who he needs to return to. Persephone told me you could get him there. It's because Persephone knows I can ride any horse anywhere. I'll take it from here. I take it. I know Hades will be missing his beast. I found him, and took him to your stable boy like you asked. You have no idea the trouble you saved me. You've earned my favor. Again. Always nice to see a friendly face. Keeper, you found my workshop after all. I know it may not look like much, but it's home. <laughs> I told you, you can call me Alexios. In front of the staff? Pa. But I'm glad you came. There's much to show you in this great land. If you're offering, I could use some help getting my bearings. Oh, give yourself time. The Golden Fields reveal themselves slowly and selectively, but I can help. Walk with me. Maybe you're right. I need to clear my head. Where to? I consider myself a keymaker. One of my keys might interest you. What do you do in your workshop? Invent. All of reality's secrets are hidden behind doors. My inventions act as keys that unlock those doors. Come on. Yeah! 
You reveal the secrets behind them. Ah, you're as wise as Peter Boyas. But why discuss what we can see for ourselves? Ella. Observe. Way up there. Persephone's first king. If only you could have seen it when it was new. It seems like most of Elysium is in ruins. What happened? This place is beautiful, as are all of Persephone's creations. But it is a world that changes at her whims. When I see Decay, I know she needs us at her side more than ever. Imagine all the heroes who have passed through those golden fields, basking in the glory of eternal peace. Each thinking they'd see nothing more beautiful, only then to set eyes on Persephone. Off we go. Yeah! Look there, Keeper. That encampment is the site where Ephastos built a home for Aphrodite. Doesn't look like much now. It stood tall until Aphrodite met that child Adonis. His ability to wreak havoc with a wink and a smile is second to none. Cave leads to a key I built for the staff. Consider it our secret. The key maker and the staff keeper. Friends bound by mysteries. What happened to me in there? Imagine for a moment. Inside you, inside all of us, are parchments twisting like ribbon. On those parchments is written the story of who you are, who you were, and who you will become. Does that make sense? Like everything else here, I don't understand any of it. Let's call it the fates, then. Your fate is predetermined, but what you experienced in there was a key I built that can unlock it and allow you to control it. I've built many. Thank you. I'm not used to doing this on my own. On the Adrestia, I had Barnavas as a guide. Ah, well, I hope it's a long time before I meet him here. I'll leave you to your adventuring. You're welcome to come back to my workshop anytime. Here, Hermes. Concerned. I'm worried about Persephone. I haven't been here long, but I've already heard people want her overthrown. You have? What do these humans expect from her? I'd heard some of the more ungrateful delinquents are planning to rise up. Imagine! These ungrateful delinquents. Could they be right? Bah! You give them too much credit. 
Still, Persephone needs protection. Don't look at me. There's a friend of mine and your father's, Kiros of Zarax. He's a strong and honorable warrior. He's been abducted, but if we could free him... You're suggesting we make a human Persephone's bodyguard? With Kiros at the ready. The humans will think twice before attacking one of their own. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you were in love with Persephone. No one understands her the way I do. Avonis sees a cruel despot. To her husband, she's a trinket on his arm. And what do you see? Me? Oh, ah, I don't know. I've never had anyone ask me before. She's... Uh, everything. How do you know this, Kiros? He was an aide, of sorts, to your father. Every great painter needs a hand to crush their pigment. That was Kiros, a warrior. Say no more. I'll find Kiros for you. Ah, I knew I could trust you. While you're gone, I'll arrange a meeting with Persephone. Bring Kiros to the heart of Elysium. We'll be there. I should watch my step around here. Kiros of Zarax? Help that me, Sergei. is predictable. I'll give him that much. <sighs> so, how do you get that stuff? Pythagoras was my father. Things happened. Now it's mine. Ah, that right? Uh, that makes us family. I knew the man well. I heard. This way. Persephone is waiting. Persephone herself? This is going to be easier than I thought. Wait. What's going to be easier? All right, Kiros. Let's make this quick. You said this is going to be easier than you thought. Since we're basically family, I'm trusting your honor. I work for Adonis. But you were caged by humans. Yes, and Hermes found out about it. Right around the time Persephone was coaxed into deciding she needs a bodyguard. You staged the whole thing, and you're using Hermes to infiltrate Persephone's lair. You're no simple warrior. Before I met your father, I had four sons, each a warrior. When my third boy fell in battle, there was only guilt. I cried all my tears for the first two. Go on. And with the fourth, I felt longing. Sadness had become my only friend. And I had no one left to grieve. Warriors don't bring peace. They bring sorrow. Huh. So by getting behind Persephone's defenses, you think you can prevent war? You could convince her to surrender, or distract her while Adonis escapes. Anything but battle. But before we go to Persephone, I have to send confirmation this plan worked. Will you take me? Fine, but be quick. We need to go to Persephone and Hermes. They're waiting. 
You really think you can save lives? I'm not sure how death works in Elysium, but suffering is eternal, and that is something I can't stop. Yeah. That's all of them. Let's keep moving. Once Adonis hears my plan worked, maybe he'll stand down. Hurry, Kiros. We need to get back to Hermes. Or Persephone might suspect something. I hear Persephone likes to test her new recruits. And I've got a bit of a temper. If you see me turning red, I'll think of something. Where have you been? No one keeps Persephone waiting. It got complicated. We took a less direct route. What matters, Hermes, is I'm freed thanks to you. When I go to my queen, I will make sure she's grateful to you for my service. Explain it to Persephone. She's waiting. I'll make sure she knows this was entirely my fault, not yours. I'm sorry I was ungrateful. Kiros will make a strong guard. Thank you again, friend. Here, Hermes. Keeper, I've been robbed! These are dark times for Elysium. Those delinquent fools have robbed even me. What did they take? I fashioned a key. A recipe, if you will, for an eternal flame. I intended to gift it to Persephone. With it, she could shine her light, even in the underworld. An eternal flame could bring order to this chaos. You understand her burden better than you let on. By enduring her sacrifice, Persephone keeps us safe in the Underworld. So write the recipe again. What I wrote took lifetimes. We can't let it stay in the hands of humans who would use it against her. Keep her! Alexios, we have to steal it back. I'll take back this recipe. But only because I don't think anyone should have access to a flame that never dies. These are desperate times. You've seen the cloud these delinquents cast on our golden fields. I said I'd get it. Ah, I thank you. You are quickly becoming my friend and ally. An eternal flame sounds more like a myth than some simple recipe. Pa, I began writing the recipe with your father. It's as real as the danger we'd face without it. Why do you go to these lengths to save Persephone? She wouldn't do the same for you. Since these humans started acting against her, she's been suffering. When she suffers, we all suffer. Hermes, has it occurred to you she might just be using you? Of course not. She simply needs someone to rely on. She needs me. I'll find the rebels and get your recipe. That's all I ask. If you are spotted or cause a commotion, we risk retaliation. Go unseen. The 
Hermes asked me to go unseen. We need to get the recipe back. About that. Here it is. You've spared this realm great suffering, my friend. I wonder, were you spotted? Of course not. But ah, Hermes... Good. We don't risk retaliation. I'm keeping these torn notes. If rebellion is coming, this power could be used to light all Velisium on fire. Perhaps you're right. So long as you swear to me you'll guard this secret with your life, I can rest knowing Persephone will never be touched by this flame. Hermes, things are worse in Elysium than I've been letting on. The rebels are organized and ready to fight. War is coming. We must crush the force behind the chaos. Let's fight for Persephone. You're so worried about Persephone. You can't even see you're in just as much danger. You kept the eternal flame out of the hands of the humans, and you went unseen. We have the upper hand. We just have to strike. Calm yourself, Hermes. It's not like you're going to go on a rampage. And why not? There are so-called captains guiding the human forces. They invited chaos into this realm, so let's show them chaos. At least when you asked me to steal, it was from thieves. You're not a murderer, Hermes. You made me look like a fool when I sent you to Kiros. But I can still come back from that and prove my worth. I told you, we were diverted. It doesn't matter. Please, I'm begging you, my friend. Help me to help her. You think that your obsession with Persephone entitles you to her love? It doesn't! She will never love you, Hermes, and no amount of killing will change that! Enough! <laughs> to kill him what are you doing here don't question me thank me for stopping you both before you do something you regret <sighs> this isn't over stand down both of you you still have your parts to play in all of this now stop bickering and fulfill them Good, you're just in time. A woman in Stroma needs your help. I'm surprised you're interested in helping humans. They don't seem interested in you. Humans are simple creatures who fear what they can't understand. But I'm not doing this out of the goodness of my heart. This human will help us undermine Persephone. What's special about her? She's an orator who'd be willing to join Adonis' rebellion. 
That man has beautiful lips. But a silver tongue like hers is necessary to inspire the public. Then it sounds like we need her. I'll come back when I'm done. Elysium is a paradise crafted by Her Majesty, Persephone herself. No human should seek to leave it, for in Elysium we want it for nothing. Who are you? Who sent you? Hecate hey, mentioned you could use some help. Quiet! If the other humans think I associate with Ekati, my career is over. Just tell me what you need me to do. Free the villagers being held captive in Persephone's broken daydream. My son, Theron, is working there as a guard against his will. It's like Persephone possessed his mind. Can you help him too? I'll see what I can do. You've been asleep too long. Wake and be free! <gasps> You're back! Where is my Theron? I freed him of Persephone's influence. He's joined Adonis's rebellion. Wonderful news! I didn't know there was a cure. What of the other villagers? They've made their way safely to Iapetos' ruins already. You'll find them there. As promised, I'll join the rebels. What message would you like me to spread once I'm there? End the fear-mongering against Ekati. Make sure the other humans know she is their ally. Your words shall be spoken. Thank you for your help. The Silver Tongue is on her way to help the Rebellion. She'll bring in plenty of recruits. <laughs> Adonis will be pleased. Relieving Persephone of her power is what's important. Don't concern yourself with that man's feelings. Or your feelings for him. Adonis is a friend. Nothing more. Make sure it stays that way. What's it to you? Divine love affairs never end well for the humans involved. Stay out of them. And stay focused on the task at hand. Now, a young woman is suffering from a terrible affliction. She's agreed to help the rebellion if we provide a cure. However, Persephone long ago outlawed the water that can relieve this woman and destroy the last of it. Let me guess. Or so she thought. There are rumors that someone hid a final vial of it in a cave off of Hypnosis Path. Retrieve it and bring it to her. Why would Persephone outlaw this water? Her need for control has grown beyond understanding. What matters is that the humans of Elysium get the help they desire. What is this woman's sickness? The worst affliction that could befall a human in Elysium. A broken heart for eternity. She's lovesick. You know nothing of grief after death. It haunts humans with an intensity unparalleled on Earth. I'll return when I've delivered the water. Remember, it's forbidden. You can't be seen when you bring it to the villa in Adonis's gardens.
Whatever this water does, people die trying to find it. Let's hope no one notices me here. You entered the cave. You must have found what was left of Lithi's water. I did. Oh, I... Oh, have mercy and let me have just a sip. I lost my wife in Tartaros and her screams still haunt me in my dreams. Please, put them to rest. Well, I guess it can't hurt. But just a sip. Someone else needs this. it matters. Ah, got the water. Now to bring it to Akati's contact. Is someone messing with me? You're the contact Ikati described. Do you have Lithi's water? I do, but what's so special about it? I saw a man lose himself after just one sip. Humans here drink Lithi's water to forget their past lives and reincarnate back into the world of the living. But Persephone won't let any of us leave Elysium so long as she's trapped here too. I lost my soulmate. I can't go back in time, but I can forget that pain. 
Now, give me the water. Here, drink this. For you, my poor Theron. I'll join you in mindless bliss. Theron? The silver tongue, son? Wait. I must say, I feel a touch woozy. Ugh. How am I going to get you to Adonis now? What happened to her? She took a sip of Lethe's water. I gave her the last vial. What? Why would you do that? She didn't want to be sentenced to eternal heartbreak after losing her love in Elysium. That I can understand, at least. She mentioned her lover's name, Theron. The silver tongue son? But you cleansed him of Persephone's possession. They could have been reunited. I should let him know. I've already received word that you accomplished just what I asked. Good. Then what did you ask Alexios to do for you? Persephone. Rumor has it Lethe's water has once again entered circulation in Elysium. Don't you dare try to talk your way out of this. You are the only person who knows what Lethe's water means to me. I'm sorry. You would never understand the intricacies of a divine creation like Lethe's water. But I won't forget what part you played here. Persephone, I, I was only trying to- I'll be watching you more closely from now on, friend. This wasn't about helping Adonis at all. You knew that woman would be no use to the rebellion after drinking the water. The woman did promise her help. That wasn't a lie. As for my motives, I've told you from the start they are mine alone to know. But if humans so desperately desire to move on from their pasts, Persephone shouldn't make that choice for them. If humans want to drink from Lethe's river, it's a choice they can make for themselves, with or without Persephone's permission. I wasn't asking for your opinion on the matter. I need some time alone, away from your mindless chatter. <laughs> 